Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. I got Wasubby with me today. We're playing the human nilf guard list from the Team Leviathan Gaming Snapshot. Um, man, I had some fun with this list. This was really, it's, it was really exciting to play this. Uh, we're going to run through the cards though. Uh, first off, what's up Wasubby? How are you doing today? Uh, yeah, all good man. So I'm really excited about like this new option that Nilfgaard has of basically just slamming points, right? It's not like the boring control faction anymore who's reactive and waiting for you to play your engine so that they can lock them, right? It, it just it just pukes points. 10 after 10 after 10. Right. Yeah, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. Right. Um, so we'll go through the list here. Um, now everybody's going to look at this and say, Roach, Roach got nerfed. This isn't any good. Um, you get You play this... I mean, with, you know, a Seer brings it back, and then you're able to play Vivine with it, and then Vivine's a 10-point card, or 10-point play by targeting yeah. Roach. Mm -hmm. um, really great combo. I love this a lot. Um, you also got Leo in here for some big removal, and probably oh, not going to yeah. use it for yeah. Witchers. And then if they, like, lock or banish your Roach, uh, Leo is also a 10 provision card. That's a 3 strength. So Vivian on Leo is also a 10. So that's very nice. Yeah, the whole this whole little right here is just real nice. Uh, yeah. Gregor, you're going to... You should get the value from this. You got the... You know, your Gimpies, you got other things that are going to make it small. You got um, some bleeds. Yeah, mostly the emissaries are just, you know, the bronzes that deal two damage. Um, he can be a hindrance for sure. Uh, he could be replaced. But for now, I mean, you should generally be able to find the value with the with the Gregoire. Otherwise, you're probably just looking for another human right. um, in his place. Uh, anything, really. Yeah, he seems like he seems pretty good though. I I, I think you're gonna hit that value. Um, yeah, yeah. He, I mean, he could be a cleaver or something, but cleaver is a dwarf, right? So you're you're losing a human. So right. Yeah. Um, Vigo, this combo is so good. If you can hit Vigo with a Doppler, he's what thirteen points. Uh, oh yeah. I mean, that's, that's stupid <laughs> good. It's just when it happens, I had to make a premium to give the piglet some love because this is just too good, man. Too good. Nice. Yeah. I mean, generally, okay, so the deck does play six bronzes, right? Yes. Uh, six, six different copies of bronzes. So you have, uh, half of the time, you're either going to hit the emissary or the Doppler, which is really good. And then when you get unfortunate, they're, they're still like slave infantry. So, like, this card can go up to 13 points, and if it doesn't work out, it's, like, 6 or 7 points, which is still okay. Right. Uh, Count Caldwell, if you guys stick around for this whole video, you're going to see a 2 million IQ play by Wasubi here. I didn't see it, but he <laughs> saw it, and I, I absolutely loved it. I thought it was great. Um, a Seer, just mostly to pull back the Roach and then possibly hit your Vivine with it. You can use it, you know, to put like old spear tip back in the deck or something like that but uh, mm -hmm. yeah or yeah. or or like uh, a yuda or something like that um yeah door gary he's just he's a human but it's it's always nice to have a lock in your pocket gimpy yeah, that's that's basically like the only control card that we have in the deck right yeah <laughs> we well, need at least one generally but, right i mean yeah he can also lock your own coldwell for example right um, we got Gimpy in here as well. You know, people people play Revenants. People play, you know, soldiers. If there's, you know, if there's soldiers on the board, you know, you can get yeah, the value yeah, out of that. Decent. He's usually, I, I, almost always, he's going to be nine points, though. Um, yeah. Vermeed, you can get super greedy with him. If you get, you know, some good soldier spawns on this, he can end up being a pretty big blow-up tool, kind of like, mm -hmm. uh, like an Isengrim or something. Uh, yeah. Treyhorn, he's just he's just gonna make your opponent rip his hair out because you're gonna steal something good off him, and he's just gonna <laughs> yeah, be super so, pissed yeah, the whole kind of day. Like he's gonna think active slash carry over play right gives you some information. Absolutely, so, uh, this card could definitely be like for example Roderick, the new card at seven provisions from the expansion. Right, but yeah, I mean Treyhorn is just fine. Yeah, he's just he's that he's that card where he's gonna just mentally screw up your opponent because throughout <laughs> even if you lose even if you 
barely beat him. He's just going to be like, I would have won if he wouldn't have banished my proto flutter, or I would have won if I would. <laughs> it's going to happen, dude. It's a, it's a, it's, it's, it's a mental, it's a mental game with Trey Horn, and it's gonna, it's gonna be in your favor. Yeah, yeah. The slave infantries are in here. Um, people are going to damage things. They're trying to get that Gregory in there. You know, if yeah. they can't pull it in the same turn, you could flip that card and possibly make their Gregory no good. Yeah, that's the that's the whole idea behind the card. Basically, everyone's trying to get these death blows, right? So they will damage your units down to one or two health, and then you get a slave for like eight or nine points. And they also synergize with the Vreem, though, right? So that's really good. Yeah, and then uh, Peter just—I mean, he's six provisions, and he just always finds a way to knock something down. The emissaries mm -hmm. are there to, like you said, um, get your Gregory going. And yeah, then the they are also a really good Vigo pool. Emissaries and Dopplers are your my main two Vigo targets. And then the Dopplers, I don't have them premium because I just crafted them before this video. <laughs> so um, just stupid good playing them uh, it, in round one. You're just getting so much out of it. And if you can get yeah. them with the Vigo, it's even better. It's just... Yeah. Really good, really good. I mean, good. the deck does play 21 humans, right? We only basically have Roach and the Shackles, and then it's just two Dopplers and 21 humans. So we will always be getting, like, 10-point Dopplers. Yeah, like you said, the the Shackles is in there just because... Just uh, I mean, it's always nice to have a second lock if you can have, if you can fit it. Right. And yeah, if, you're, yeah. if you're spitting out points the way this list does, it shouldn't have an issue. Mm -hmm. Infiltrator... Yeah, yeah, and I mean, if you would add another, another Bronze unit, and then you're just damaging your Vigo, right? Right. You can have another bad bronze to create, so... Yeah. And then the list finishes out with uh, the Infiltrators just uh, giving your opponent some trash in their deck that they, you know, mulligan through can really hurt mm -hmm. them. Uh, Cutthroat, he's just a human that, you know, he's going to get you five points. And oh, then, yeah, it can help with Gregoire as well. Yeah, that too. And same then, with the same with the knight, right? It's it either helps Gregoire by damaging you three, or it hits a big unit and you get six points, which is pretty decent for four provisions, right? Absolutely. But uh, yeah, that's the list, guys. Uh, definitely give it a try. Uh, if you're not a Nilfgaard fan, check out the Team of Ithin Gaming website. They got some really good decks on there for the Meta Snapshot 3.0. Wasabi took a lot of time to type this all out and get it up and going for you. So give it some clicks. Make sure you check it out. We all appreciate all of that. But uh, here's a game with this list. I absolutely love this game. I thought it was great. A good highlight for it. But uh, we'll see you guys at the end. What do we got here? Ooh. Mr. Detloff. How's, how and does it fare? Coin flip. That's quite good for us. Oh, we're uh, dropping right. Roach. For so this sure. hand kind of mulligans itself, right? Yeah, Roach. What did you get? A seer. A sire? Nice. So we would like to mulligan one of those bronzes that are on the weaker side. Uh, probably Cutthroat. The Cutthroat? Uh huh, yeah. I mean, we don't need two of them. Gimpy. Nice. That's good. He's going to play Wild Hunt Riders. If he doesn't, we play the Doppler nice. first, right? We always play the Doppler yeah, first. We, we always play Doppler first. Like, our entire hand is human, right? So we're going to get 10 points Doppler. He could be playing Predatory Dive, though. Which means that I would consider um, Gimpy. sacrificing the point just to not risk the Predatory Dive. Yeah. So we, we could also play around Geralt by playing three humans and, like, or two humans and putting the Doppler at seven. Yeah, probably start off with game P. Sure, sure. It's pretty good. So, yeah, he's most likely going to Regis Bloodlust the Roach to deny the Sire. We'll see. What will we get to banish, though? Will we get the instant concede from getting rid of his Proto Fletter or something? <laughs> Maybe. So you think playing around... Oh, there we go. Alright, so we can't deal with that. We don't have any luck of our own. But, I mean, at the same time, it thins his deck, right? So maybe we hit something really good with Treyhorn. We try it? So the question is... 
Question is if you want to play the Doppler now or if you want to delay it and play around the Geralt. We are on red coins, so we probably don't care about Geralt, right? Right. So we can just go and play him for a nine. Yeah. Oh, they're Everything's all human. human. Oh, I was like, <laughs> screw this dude, up. I've never, this is the first time I've played Doppler. <laughs> I swear to God, nice. dude. I had to craft it just for this. I had to craft it just for this video. I was like, where's Doppler? I'm like, I don't even have them. Nice. It just, I, it, it, it never really seemed like you had that synergy for it. It was always oh, just, holy smokes. Ooh, okay. This guy is taking no prisoners. And then he boosts the, ooh, he's so greedy. Okay. So we... So we can even hit the... Yeah, yeah, we could hit him and threaten uh, stealing it. Uh, we could also bleed it, but I don't like that. That's too slow. Wait, wait, wait. Why not the cold well? Oh, I thought we had to... Oh, he counts himself. That's right. I keep yeah, forgetting he right. counts himself. Uh, but I mean, we can always steal it with our leader ability. That's why Morvan is so nice. Very, very flexible leader, right? Yeah. I think we're gonna get we're gonna get something good on this tray horn. Why didn't he hit the nine? Um I don't know. He is a crazy guy. <laughs> <laughs> um he's All right. still, um I guess he got that he can knock it down with the Most likely, yeah. So we just use the cutthroat we now. We can lead him, you know, yeah, sure. Yeah, I guess though so he let's milk some milkmates. I guess he could end up uh, letting it bleed for one and then using cyclops. Yeah, he can, he's just going to cyclops. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, wait. Okay. He still didn't thin the fog blood. It's crazy. So he either has like a second cyclops or he has a bruise or he just doesn't care. <laughs> Maybe he thinks because we have Treyhorn, he could do it for us. Yeah, I would. Let's do it now. Let's just drop the Treyhorn. It's fine. See what we get. Yes. Nice. And we get rid of the Proto Flutter, right? Yeah, let's get rid of the Proto. It's two more points, and we also know that he's drawing Regis. Uh, that's pretty good for him, but. Yeah, he didn't get to banish the roach. So we just play the infiltrator and Yeah, 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 sure. Give him up by strength. And give him some jump. <laughs> so I don't know, long round against that laugh, kinda scary, but we'll be fine. Just need to find the Vream though. That is a good card. There's the Vream. Alrighty, so we get rid of the infiltrator. See what we get. That's a good Peter. card. Probably good for us, yeah. Mm, do, do we, we drop him though? No, 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 no. Not with the reamed. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, right. let's keep the Peter. Sure. He might be playing like a random Osril or something. And we're passing, right? Pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, we are at the risk of losing our card if we don't. Boy, that's okay. going to sting. <sighs> Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna mulligan into the infiltrator. Just watch. <laughs> right, it's gonna happen. Oh, those are nice. Yeah, I'm wondering if two hmm. two might be a bad idea. Vivian probably does have a good target. Uh, With the yeah, roach, yeah, let's kick let's kick one of the emissaries. Sure, that's maybe too much. Okay, I'm I'm sold. Let's keep this. <laughs> I'm sold, huh? I mean, yeah, it's four points better than the emissary, right? It's pretty, pretty so we, crazy. So we lead off with the Vigo, though, right? Mm -hmm. It could hit a Doppler. It could hit an emissary. The way the lit is built right now, it's a literal 50-50 between, like, yeah, Woo! getting a bad option or a good option. Um, so we just place this 9, so it's the, big, it's the big boy version. We didn't find Leo, which is sad. But, uh, so we're going Vigo though, right? Sure. Yeah. What is truth if not an Nice. There you go. That's so good. Oh yeah. That's so good. 
<laughs> I love it. I think points. I love yeah. it, dude. And it makes it premium because I don't have premium oh, yeah. Dopplers. So we get premium Two pigs and, and then we Easy. get premium pizza face. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> pizza face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So, I mean, the, the, this is so nice to get uh, about Marvin, right? Your Coldwell is never, like, going to betray you because... Oh, okay. So, we're we... setting up multiple things. Um... <laughs> do we just soldier that now? Or, we do, we, or do we, we wait? We wait a turn if we want to. Let's see. So, if we wait a turn, we're not really losing anything. But what are we gaining? I guess... I guess we could also sire. Like, there's no harm in just playing her. Yeah. Yeah, let's just sire, sure. Go in range, right? Mm hmm. Get the roach out there. So he wants to. He wants to Grego our, our Vigo next turn. Mm. But the thing is, if he deals with the roach, Vigo is also like a nice target for the Vivian. Uh, he's a 9 provision card, right? So if he goes to 1, we can actually get 1 extra point. Oh, oh god. Okay, so it's not good. Mm. We we have to be very careful with playing our Emissary, because otherwise our Gregoire can be dead. Okay. Yeah, we mulliganed one of them for a Coldwell that was greedy, but hopefully we, we won't get punished. <laughs> we just play the Vivine, or do we... Uh, yeah, Vivian seems alright. On the roach, right? Yeah, yeah. Place for 10 points. Pretty, pretty neat. I mean, we can deny his cards here quite nicely as well with the slave infantry, so and, should be fine. And Igni. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, there you go. Jesus. Easy, easy scratch in big boy dead off. <laughs> Please, no. Okay, so he's bleeding us for more. That's really good value for him, actually. Okay. Um, it's getting awkward, isn't it? Yeah. We could drop the Caldwell now. Yeah, Caldwell seems fine in the front. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A ability coming now. We have to give him the lesson in humility, right? Well, he doesn't have... Oh, he's, he's got Caldwell in his bank. Yeah, he's, he's always going to have an Osral. But, I mean, yeah, if we found the Leo here, that would be really good on the spear tip. So, let's see. Hmm, I'm kind of worried about this Gregoire. He might play for just five, which... You can cost us the game. There's nice. Oh, okay. Sure. So that's one charge gone, which is good for us. So what do we do here? We go. I mean, we almost. We have to go emissary here, right? Yeah, we can go emissary on the sire, for example. He's gonna boost it. Sure. Yeah. Definitely. But I mean, what else do we do there, right? Can't yeah. Can't really do much. Uh, yeah, this is weird when we get the full slave hand. We need him to like damage our stuff. Well, it's not happening, but yeah. Well, if he doesn't, if he doesn't buff that, like. He has to, yeah. Yeah. He's gonna. It's it's gonna get real ugly for him because we're gonna have three units with ten. <laughs> <laughs> would mean, be would be nice if we could like borrow Brewer's ability for a turn, you know, put one of those threes to a one. <laughs> right. Uh, it's weird. Like he's definitely gonna either consume or boost or just death love it. I mean, he should if if he can. He didn't. He's really? not. He's not scared. Okay. I mean, this should never happen. Like, why why didn't he just use his uh, lead ability there? Huh. I guess, yeah, I mean, he's not aware of the fact that we are desperate about the Gregoire, I guess. That's... 
The problem is, is what do we use our slave inventories on? Yeah, exactly. Oh! Okay. Well, there's your Peter, so then you can use one slave on him, yeah. Seems good. Um, okay, sure. Yeah. I mean, I would have probably played him in the back. Oh. Just because he has an easy kill with the Cyclops now, but that's fine. He's not gonna Cyclops a Plumber, right? There's no way. No. <laughs> So this hand gets punished by Gimpy and also by the fact that we simply don't have enough units on our side that are good to use Slave on. Yeah. Yeah, it's it, it got weird real quick. Like, we used all our big stuff first. Yeah. I mean, he still needs to set up his own Gregoire, alright? Then we just bust out a Slave and laugh. Like, he needs a unit of one, one health, for sure. Or maybe he's not even playing Gregor, who knows. Wasn't Gregor originally able to hit his own unit? Or your own oh, side? I I, I, no, I don't think so. No. But he was like... Oh god, okay. That's fine. So we can slave now. Mm -hmm. Not bad, not bad. So he did have the girl. That, this is a really weird list from our opponent. He has big boys as well as tall removal. Like, how does he fit all that in? By playing he a bunch of play, little, a bunch yeah. of little stuff. He has to play Broxai, which are really bad. Like everyone wants death blow too. Just think that, that to thirteen. So, we so he wants to steal the cold wall. Um, We have to bust. We have to bump our Caldwell up, right? Uh, I'm not sure if Caldwell or just the uh, Gregoire. Um, I would probably just dream the, and then boost the Gregoire up to 14. Seems okay. So we're gonna dream now. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if we slave a six, we're just playing for four points. It's not worth it. Yeah, there you go. Boost. Oh, he doesn't have the Gimpy. <laughs> That's funny. So boost it again to 14. That way we keep our cold well. I mean, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, just keep the charge. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 points. He's got two pings. I, it's got to be his Gregor, sure. right? It's got to be Gregor. Yeah. Well, wait, what? what? What is that? He's going for the 50-50. Oh, really? Okay, so he has Cyclops as his last card. Uh, so he steals it. Well, we could enslave it. Or do we just pass? Just our leader. We just do we just we... do we just pass and he doesn't switch? No, no, no. He switches at the, at the end of your turn, right? Mm-hmm. But if you if you enslave him. Just enslave the Coldwell, right? <laughs> Do we still win? Easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enslave the Coldwell. <laughs> 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 oh, that's genius, dude! Genius! <laughs> yeah, I mean, this hand was super awkward, but we made it work somehow. I have no idea. Oh my god, that was so good! Yeah. So yeah. good. <laughs> That is the 2 million IQ play of the day from Wasabi. You guys are welcome. <laughs> we'll send that over to uh, to Danny Line. Maybe he'll put it on there for us. But uh, that's the list for today, guys. Wasabi, other than transforming Count Caldwell into a slave inventory, do you have anything else for the wonderful Gwent community? I mean, uh, definitely give a shot to this deck, guys. Like... It just pukes out so many points, right? With the Dopplers, it's a lot of fun. Because Nilfgaard uh, mostly just used to be like a control faction, right? Playing all these locks and stuff. But, uh, you know, you can also play Dopplers and just get 10 points for 6 provisions. That's so cool. good with that Vigo. The Vigo yeah, is yeah, just yeah. That stupid. Was that was ridiculous, right? It's so good. <laughs> I uh, Someone did that to me in a game and I'm like, oh my god, that is just like the, the combo yeah. that Nilfgaard needs. Like, 
<laughs> yeah, that's ridiculous for sure. Like a uh, very fun new card that has been introduced for sure. Absolutely. But uh, that's it for today, guys. Like always, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. And we'll see you guys next time.